to what extent would you say that business continuity is now a boardroom issue? I don't actually think that business continuity is a board level issue. Um, the board deals with strategic issues. Business continuity is not strategic. It's operational or potentially at best tactical. I wouldn't necessarily say uh, business continuity is a boardroom issue, um, but I think the, the risks and the issues that we address through business continuity are very much boardroom issues. And uh, particularly uh, over the recent years, when we look at the number of events and incidents that have happened uh, and how those have impacted organisations. What do you think are the factors that might be driving business continuity onto the boardroom agenda? I think the biggest factor driving BCM onto the boardroom agenda is the increased recognition of resilience as a whole. I think organisations are starting to understand now that resilience is absolutely fundamental to their operations. I think undoubtedly high profile events, uh, the economic uncertainties, uh, these are things that the board is very concerned about. Um, and certainly, you know, I come across CEOs who don't want major uh, events to happen on their watch. And if they do, they want to be absolutely sure they're prepared and their organisation are prepared to deal with it. Do you think that business continuity on its own can achieve sufficient boardroom recognition? Or does it need to align itself with risk management or with the overarching resilience strategy? I think business continuity, if it's to engage at top management level, at board level, needs to be integrated and coordinated with all the other elements of resilience. Now that's not just risk management or crisis management, it's also information security, it's potentially health and safety, environmental management, compliance, corporate governance. There is a whole piece here and at that level it engages the board. I'm very much of the view that uh, business continuity needs to align itself to both strategic and operational risks and it needs to adopt the term resilience uh, and by that I mean that it needs to help the organisation anticipate events, uh, prevent them and prepare for them, uh, withstand them should they occur and then respond and recover effectively. How, in your view, can business continuity managers more effectively promote business continuity to the board and its overall role in facilitating business objectives? The absolute key is to align those objectives with strategic interest. The board is considering strategic concerns. It doesn't deal with the operation, it doesn't get involved in process. Business continuity has to show that it's relevant to the strategic objectives of the organisation. Focus on the issues that are relevant to the board, strategic risks. Also, look at how you can help uh, reduce both the uh, likelihood and the impact of high frequency events, as well as help the organisation be better pre prepared for the really high impact and high consequence events. So look at both ends of the spectrum. To what extent is the ability to sustain the interest of the board more important than the initial engagement of the board? And perhaps what advice would you give to business continuity managers in facilitating or achieving this? This comes back to aligning with strategic considerations. If we engage the board in the first place, if they understand that this is part of their remit in terms of protecting and enhancing stakeholder value, then they will absolutely stay engaged. I think there are three things here. Firstly, you have to remain focused on issues that are relevant to them, uh, to their agenda. Uh, secondly, I think you have to get involved in strategic change decisions. Now, when the board makes a decision to invest, there's a huge opportunity to build resilience into the organisation you need to influence those decisions and you need to help the board ask the question when they make the decision does this enhance our resilience or does it reduce it and then thirdly I think you need to make sure that you're supporting the board and the chief executive in being prepared to respond to events should they occur.